Hi, welcome to TechBreeze. Vivo first showed off its Apex Concept phone at the MWC 2018 and its biggest attraction was its 90% screen-to-body ratio with a modest bezel at the bottom. Interestingly the phone didn't have so-called notch and Vivo still managed to include a selfie cam. It seems that the company was determined to bring it to the masses and unveiled its brand new devices Vivo Nex S and Nex A. Let's put them against each other and see the main differences between them. At the first glance both look the same except for the fingerprint scanner you may spot at the back of Nex A. Yup it means Nex S features in display fingerprint scanner. Otherwise both devices feature a 6.59 inch AMOLED ultra full view display with 1080 by 2316 full HD plus resolutions and a 19.3 to 9 aspect ratio. Vivo claims that the Nexus uses a third generation in display fingerprint scanner that is promised to offer 50% higher accuracy and 10% faster speeds. Major differences of these phones are its internals. Considering mainstream high-end phones, both phones come with decent specs inside, but Nexus is a true beast boasting 8GB of RAM and either 128 or 256GB of internal storage. On the other hand, Nexus sports a modest Snapdragon 710 chipset, coupled with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Design-wise, Nex looks almost similar to iPhone X except for the notch which the Nex lacks, that is a good thing because most people are not interested in that notch part. There is nothing innovative about copying the notch either. Back of the phone is made of 3D glass and the rear camera is located at the top left corner of the device with an LED flash immediate below. Wondering where the front camera is? That is where the true innovation takes place. Instead of adding a notch for front camera, the Vivo Nex has a unique pop-up selfie camera, which elevates from the top of the phone when needed. That makes sense especially when companies are trying to maximize the screen space on the front. Both phones feature a 12MP plus 5MP dual camera setup on the back while an 8MP shooter with f/2.0 aperture and AI-powered face beauty modes on the front. The only difference between the two models is that Nexa lacks OIS, while the Nex S variant feature 4-axis optical image stabilization. Other cam features include AI-powered HDR mode, AI scene recognition, AI filters, and DCI-P3 color gamut support. The Vivo Nex runs on Android Oreo 8.1 out of the box with Vivo's custom Fun Touch UI on top. The phone also features Vivo's new Jovi AI Assistant and comes with a dedicated button for the same. With such a powerful specs you would expect the device to come with something dedicated for gamers, yup Vivo has added 7.1 channel 3D audio for an engaging gaming experience. And powering these massive devices is a 4000 mAh battery. Both Nexa and S will be available in China starting June 23rd and should be released in the global market soon. However, there are no exact details about its global availability, but considering the history of the company, one of these devices should soon be released in India. When it comes to pricing, Nex S will cost you $750, 4998 yuan, while Nexa has a price tag of $600. What do you think about the new Vivo Next devices? Leave your thoughts below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.